Hey there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Justice League Multiverse Batman from the Steppenwolf Collecting Connect Wave. So, yeah, uh, you know, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so, yeah, pretty basic boxing for your Multiverse figures. I'll video of a picture of DCU Batman right there, and then on the other side right here you do have Batfleck right there who isn't wearing his tactical suit for some reason even though this is the tactical suit figure but you know I don't know whatever um and then on the back you do have a nice image of the entire wave of Steppenwolf right there looking pretty sexy as you can see and then you have Superman, Batman, Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg and Wonder Woman right there and as you can see Batman does come with the torso um, of Steppenwolf, so, you know, that is pretty neat, if I do say so myself, so, yeah, then you do have some other stuff on the bottom right there, but, yeah, there's the other side of the box, and, yeah, so, let's crack this thing open, okay, so here's Tactical Suit Batman right out of the box, and might I say, this figure actually looks pretty decent, um, like, with the sculpt and everything, it's actually very movie accurate, like, I can tell... That's Ben Affleck under that freaking cow, and yeah, um, the cow does look very nice. The tactical suit, like the sculpt on that, is also very nice, like with the anatomy and everything. It actually looks really good. Um, the paint apps on this guy are great, you know. Like, I know DC multiverse figures do get a bad rap for their articulation, but a lot of them do have pretty dang good sculpts. Um, I'll give them that, and like good paint apps and stuff like that. So, yeah, very, very nice, as you can see. Um, it would have been cool if he had, like, a little beard or something like that, you know, for Batfleck, but whatever, it's fine. Or, like, some stubble or something, I don't know. But, yeah, and then you do have his cape, which is made of leather, and it's a very, very weird kind of leather because, well, you know, when I first got this figure, I was like, hey, cool, it's a leather cape, you know, because leather capes are pretty cool. But then after, like, a week, it, uh, it got, like, wrinkled up like that, like... Look at that, it's wrinkled up like a freaking burrito, you know? Look at that, guys, I can actually fit taco meat in here, look at that, look at that, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so if we look at articulation, uh, we can see that he doesn't really have the best articulation because he can't, like, he can't really move his head up, he can't really move it down either, um, his arms move up, like, that far, which is actually pretty decent, I guess, moves up that far, uh, he does not have double jointed elbows, which is very unfortunate. But he does have an ab crunch, so yeah, he's like 3 out of 7 figures in this wave, if you count the builder figure that actually has an ab crunch, so yeah, good job Mattel for doing that, um, would be nice if he gave the other 5 figures one, but you know, whatever, it, it's all good, um, yeah, he does have a hip swivel, no double jointed knees, like get this fake news out of here, what the heck bro. Uh, no ankle pivot, um, so that's very unfortunate because, you know, it would be it would be a lot easier to pose him with ankle pivot, but, you know, um, I don't know. The bicep swivel actually helps a lot when posing him, so, yeah, the ankle pivot isn't, doesn't really affect this figure too much, or, I mean, the, yeah, the lack of ankle pivot doesn't really affect this figure too much, so, you know, that's fine, but, yeah, it would have been nice if we also got, like, a, like, different hands, um, that could actually, like, hold a battering, like, if we got, like, a battering with this guy, that would have been so awesome, but, you know, we didn't get anything, uh, which kind of sucks, but, you know, I'm not gonna hold it against this figure too much, I mean, kind of, you know, it would have been awesome if it came with accessories, but, whatever, whatever, it is all good, I guess. Okay, so, all in all, this figure came out decent, I want to say, like, the scope on this guy is great, like, he's very, very movie accurate, um... Yeah, but the articulation just, oh, uh, the lack of articulation, and how the cape turned into a burrito, and how it didn't come with accessories, really makes this figure fall flat, um, like, really, but, yeah, I mean, Mattel was halfway there, I guess, but, yeah, um, Mattel is actually getting, like, really good with, like, their new Maldivers figures, because, like, the new Shazam figures that are coming out actually have double-jointed elbows with an ab crunch, so, you know, they are getting there, guys, um, it's not like I hate multiverse action figures, even though a lot of them aren't the best, but, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think that's everything I want to say. Join me next time when I review another one of these, uh, action figures, because why not? So, yeah, uh, like the video, subscribe if you want a home, and, yeah.
Uh, yep, yeah, thank you all for watching, and with that said, I hope we'll find you five out.